Cloud Talker. Today we're gonna make fire with ice. And I'm getting new subscribers all the time. Gotta put a couple more in my subscriber stick here. The long ones count as extras. Right there's a good. Tells my story. This is my subscriber stick. Put that there. It's Cloud Talker. And today we're going to make fire with ice. We're going to make fire with ice. Fire from ice. Fire from ice! That's right, with ice. Put some paracord on it there so I don't damage my good bow string. There's the bow. Some paracord here and then tie it. And then I'll tie a bowl in on the other. Step around the bow. That's how it should look like when it's done. That's the proper brace height. You want to make sure that you have a good dry area to work on. This one. You just put a little bit of a divot in the ice. Not much. Okay. Those of you that are used to bow drill sets know that finding a good barren or a frictionless fit for the top of the spindle it's one of the hardest parts. Now ice makes a very smooth barren block. And I got my mitts on, trigger finger, which is good because it allows you to move your finger and train your finger. My finger's so tough now that I can just I can just bend it right down into the ice. messing around. Use a more appropriate bow. Not much room in this teepee with this bow. And a smoke's a good sign already. a good sign. Now I gotta remember to keep my work area dry. Got my notch carved. Too much friction. I'm crouched over on an angle so the drips won't fall on the board. So I'm over counter on a counter angle. Long stroke.
you got one there. No? And I didn't. I didn't get one. glove on so the ice doesn't melt as fast. Really like these trigger finger mitts. Longbow. Once I'm sure I got a nice coal, worked out good. Got some time now. Got my chaga over here. Got a piece of chaga from up here in my fungus collection. Blasted a piece off. Chaga is a great coal extender as well. There. Just scratching some of it up to give it the best chance. Be gentle with it. Till I get another little piece of Something. You just gotta really baby that coal. Come on, Loxley, you can do it. Now I'm pinching them together as tight as I can. Now I got a piece that caught there. And a few pieces here. Once that chaga catches, it's very hard to put it out. You gotta almost submerge it in water and or smother it with something buried in the ground because it will burn on and on. Big thanks and shout out to Down East Primitive Skills Channel. Show me this tip on the ice. About the ice. And the ice worked out great. Hardly any friction. bird I carved. Listen carefully. What's that? I carved a decoy out of the ice. Got lots of time once it catches. Got lots of time. Take your time, Loxley. Take your time. If you thought that was my only trick, I got one more up my sleeve. Somewhere's here. It's way up there. There. There we go. If you can't find a bird's nest, any nest will do. This is a wasp nest I picked up. The ones that woke up stung me a few times. 
still got a few wasps in there. You can use a wasp nest. Wasp nest off the tree in the winter. It's one of the driest things. Any nest will do. Now if this nest warms up enough to the proper temperature, a few of them might wake up. But I better be careful here. Smoky. <coughs> Smoky. Smoking these yellow jackets. Yeah, it don't taste like honey. Smoking the yellow jackets. Just remember, you're never home free until the tea is served. I'm just helping it along by carving some feather sticks and making more surface area in the wood. It doesn't matter if there's a little burn spot on it. That's still good for tea. I'm gonna make some chaga tea here. What a difference. See the chaga? See the chaga? So I hope you found this useful. Some uses for chaga, different uses for ice, and uses for wasp nests. Remember the fire doesn't discriminate. Fire you can't really tell. As long as you have a nest, it's happy. We'll add some ice to it. There, we'll throw some of that ice in. So we'll have tea with the water from our barren block. So that tea is, it's made with the very snows of the lands around me. And the ice on which the fire was created. The chaga, it helped out. It's a great coal extender. It's a great tea. It's a medicinal mushroom. Look it up. If you want Cloud Talkers chaga, contact me. See that chaga? Look at that. You can see the coloration to it. Look at that. I'm calling on subscribers. Calling on friends. I can't do this alone anymore. This channel's just... It's growing too big. It's growing too fast. And I'll take all the help I can get. So keep training hard. Isn't YouTube a great place to learn things? When You know, that's the first thing I always put on my resume. I went to YouTube University. And I always get the job. To head back to reality.